If you want to know my tips on how to level up your product photography, stay with me in this video. A great product shot should not only showcase the product, but should also tell a story that draws in the viewer. Take for example this bottle. It has a beautiful shape, a unique pirate design featuring crossed bones and a cork stopper with a logo on top of it. To make the product look really catchy, it's crucial not only to showcase the product itself, but also to tell its story. This way the viewers can connect with the product and they can also imagine themselves using it. To achieve this feeling, consider what is commonly associated with the product and use that to craft the story. In this case I see pirates, ships, rust, old wood and maybe even cigars. To bring the story to life, choose props that will enhance the product without overpowering it. Everything I have here I found at home or with the help of my family, so I've spent zero on these props. I'll start with this rusty plate for the background, which has a really nice color and texture that also complements the beverage's color. I also added some texture to the scene with a fabric bag for green coffee beans, which I'm really sure you can find at any local coffee roaster. Another prop was a chest with a beautiful map painting on the top and a compass for a pirate chip touch. Building a scene for a product photography is a highly subjective matter, but I really like to start with the background. As you can see, I was building my set on a relatively small table in front of a black wall. I like the texture of this table, but in this photo shoot, I have used this rusty plate as a base for my scene. Now this is the part when the fun begins. Now you just have to place the object on the base and start building the scene around it. One tip I can give you is to create depth by placing some props behind the object and some in front of it. This way the scene will look full, but the props will not be disturbing. I personally think that there is no one way how to lay out the scene or how to lay out the props in the scene. You just need to experiment and changing up things until you are really happy with the result. Again, there are so many ways to light such scene, but I prefer to start with the simplest way possible, which is to use whatever you have at home. I have three lights at my disposal and I will always start lighting the scene with my key light. In my case, it was the Aperture 120D with the light dome to achieve soft and even light. Again, try to experiment with the angle of the light, but I think that the top-down lighting setup will never let you down. My second light was this bi-color LED bar. Since the scene is composed mostly of red, orange and yellowish colors, I set it to warm light and used it as the accent light to enhance the bottle itself. You can also use another light as a fill light, but this is really optional and it depends on the result you want to achieve. I have used this Aperture Ameran LED panel at low intensity just to bring up the exposure a little bit. Let me go really quickly through some creative tips on how to approach the scene to get some really good shots. Always remember to shoot at least two shots of the product in the scene. One master shot with the whole scene in the frame and then one or more details. The beauty of this kind of setup is that each time you change the angle, you will get a different shot without adding anything new or even rebuilding the scene itself. So take an advantage of that. Try to play around with the smoke. Many of you may think that this can be done in post and you may be actually right, but in my opinion, it's almost always better to get it in camera, especially if you don't have enough of those Photoshop skills. You can try different sources of smoke, like for example this aerosol and spray, which may be actually better to create the haze effect. If this is not what you are going after, try a candle, wooden stick or even an incense stick. As you may know, you can make almost any photo more interesting if you are shooting through something. This thing will be in the foreground, out of focus, but it may look interesting and you can even use it to draw attention to the product. In my case, I have used a glass for instance. 
Now, if you shoot an expensive RAM or anything else, it would not be such a great idea to waste it to get this kind of photo. Instead, use something more affordable. In my case, I've used coffee. A classic pour-over was a really great choice. It's not all black and it actually has similar color to the rum in the scene. I'm really sure you can always find an affordable substitute. So now I would also like to hear from you. Do you have any great tips on product photography that I didn't mention here? If yes, leave them in the comment section and let's inspire each other. So until next time, take care and also take some great product shots.